And the strike is catching the eyes of the thousands of travelers streaming through Sky Harbor. Many of those passengers making plans before arriving at the airport just in case they couldn't get something they needed before they had to board. David Caltabiano live with a look inside the airport tonight. David. Hey Jared, good evening. This Starbucks right behind me, that is the one of three locations that is now closed because of that worker strike. And it comes at a time with so many people are coming to Sky Harbor. Just look at what it looks like at this hour. Thousands of people for one of the busiest times of year to travel. This afternoon, a worker strike catching the eyes of travelers at America's friendliest airport, with many unaware that they're picketing for higher pay and benefits. Do you know what this is about? No. no. I think it's about like the vaccine or something. But. Other passengers like Renee Warner and Shauna Harmon knew what it was all about with two Starbucks and a Zinn burger now closed. But we did eat in advance just in case. Just in case. <laughs> they were also prepared for a holiday traveling nightmare after weeks of flight cancellations nationwide and Sky Harbor hit with their own issues following a power outage in Terminals 3 and 4 a couple weeks ago. We came, we came super early. early so that if we did run into anything, we would have plenty of time. The two are headed to Salt Lake City for their Thanksgiving. They hope they can make it without any problems. So far, so good. But they, like so many others, are wondering if a canceled or delayed flight is in their future for this busy week of travel. Other people coming through this airport also have the strike on their mind. Uh, I wonder if it's going to work. Uh, there was another concern heading into this holiday travel. The TSA has mandated their employees for the vaccine. The TSA, a spokesperson for the TSA, says 93% have complied and it will not affect any holiday travel plans, Jared. Many more than were vaccinated just uh, about a month ago. David Caltabiano live inside the airport tonight. David, thanks.